If you've been a Linux user for some time, you're probably aware how much ThinkPads are endorsed by other Linux users. In fact, this is the third ThinkPad I've bought, and I'm not too sure how I feel about that. For the record, this is my personal laptop, the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 370. So what makes ThinkPads so good? Build quality. ThinkPads have outstanding build quality, and part of the reason is because they're primarily designed as business laptops. So the ThinkPad build quality can also be felt in other business laptops like Dell Latitudes and HP Elite books. ThinkPads are not too big and not too small. They're not too heavy and not too hollow. And while they are made of plastic, they're made of a high quality plastic, not the same cheap plastic you might find on a Chromebook. Performance value ratio. ThinkPads are very cheap. This Yoga 370 was £130, the X240 I bought was £79, and the X220 I bought was £50. And if you're looking to buy a really old ThinkPad, or if you want to take a gamble with an untested or faulty machine, you can get them for basically nothing. But these laptops are old, of course they're cheap. But old doesn't necessarily mean bad. Of course, they work well for things like web browsing and office work, but I also made a video about gaming on the X240, and I even edited one of my normal videos entirely on the X220. These laptops aren't going to replace your gaming PC, but they absolutely destroy any laptop you can buy brand new for the same price, in every performance metric besides battery life. Expansions and upgrades. ThinkPads come with a decent amount of I.O., and many of them have fingerprint readers and SIM card slots, which you just won't find on consumer hardware, at least not at this price. This Yoga 370 also features a 360 degree hinge and a 1080p IPS display. ThinkPads are also highly upgradable, allowing users to upgrade the memory and the storage, with some of the older ThinkPads even allowing you to replace the CPU, which is basically unheard of on laptops. This is in sharp contrast to modern machines where everything is permanently soldered to one PCB. This also means ThinkPads are great for combating electronic waste because anybody with a screwdriver and basic computer knowledge can save their machine from going to landfill. Core Boot and LibreBoot Not all ThinkPads support this, but some of the older ones allow you to install Core Boot or LibreBoot, which are basically free software replacements for your BIOS. On top of being better for your freedom and allowing you to have a computer that is 100% free software, even at the firmware level, Core Boot and LibreBoot are also a lot faster than traditional BIOS, and they also combat the security concerns with Intel's management engine. And that is my video on what makes ThinkPads great and why Linux users in particular like them. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next one.